Seven of the 17 engines which were procured by the government to alleviate the issue of power outages have been transported to the Guyana Power & Light Columbia Maikoni East Coast Demerara substation, and technical works are ongoing to have the engines connected to the grid by the end of this week. Minister within the Ministry of Public Works, Deodat Indar, told the newsroom on Monday that installation has already commenced since preparation works to ensure the physical infrastructure is in place were conducted at the site ahead of the arrival of the engines last week. So this morning we have about six or seven of them on the, on the, on the plank, um, the concrete plank. They're hooking up the, um, the fuel lines, the transformers and the switch gears so that that can go into the system. Right? Uh -huh. So we want to get that, at least, we want to get that set up. Indar said the works are being done in phases. So now they're running the cabling, they're putting in the radiators, they're putting in the, hooking up the fuel system, and they're hooking up the generator to a switch gear and the transformer so that it can be plugged into the power pump, to the, um, the substation there. Once it goes into the substation, it will push it to 13,800 into the grid. Is we supposed to get power there sometime by this week here? 76 containers of generators and transformers along with radiators, fuel and oil separators were shipped to Ghana in the MV Skystar. The vessel arrived at the Munishwar's Wharf, Kingston, Georgetown last Wednesday. They were immediately offloaded and transported to the Columbia Maikoni East Coast Demrara substation for installation. The U.S. $27 million equipment from Apan Energy was initially slated to arrive in Ghana on November 22. Indar told the newsroom recently that the equipment were shipped separately to Ghana from different territories. However, he said there were some slight delays with the shipment as it relates to the passage via the Panama Canal resulting in the delay. The country's power company was forced to implement a low shedding schedule across the country as it did not have the capacity to feed the increase in demand for electricity. At present, GPL has the capacity to generate 167 megawatts. The demand at the beginning of November was 172 megawatts. Once installed, the new generators would add 28.9 megawatts to the national grid. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabakas.